And welcome back to the Harvey Norman Lounge. Debbie, who has been away to the so-called Edinburgh of the South. And I hear you've been lurking in car parks and in alleyways and things. <laughs> Creepy, it, Debbie. <laughs> yeah, you make it sound so seedy. It's actually a good thing. I'd heard about Dunedin's cafes and the street art, so I wanted to take a walking tour. So take a look. When we think about Dunedin, we think about Scottish heritage, the world's steepest street, and of course, the Scarfies. But today, I want to tell you about the ABCs, starting with A. A for art. Victoria runs walking tours around the revitalised warehouse district. The street art theme started by Belgian artist Roa in 2014. He's a rock star in the street art world, and it snowballed from there. Because once the rest of the street art world realised that Roa had painted in Dunedin, it's like, where's Dunedin? <laughs> to the bottom of the world, why is he painting there? Now there are around 30 big walls painted, many in parts of Dunedin you wouldn't normally see. This is a good thing about walking up alleyways and walking behind buildings. Yeah. The back end of buildings always look different to the front end, don't they? Look at all the ironwork and the fire escapes, the different textures. This is another genre of street art, which is stickering. <laughs> so you get your mass-produced stickers, you get handmade stickers, and then once one goes up, it attracts others. Yes, there's plenty of humour and social commentary. Every wall or every image has a narrative. The artist knows what it is, they don't always tell you. Yeah. It's like art is in the eye of the beholder. Yes. There is a story and you can find it. Yes. From city to surf, B for beach. Tunnel Beach, just 7 k's from Dunedin, is a great walk down to the giant arches created by the pounding waves and a secluded beach. Another B, this one is a bakery with a difference. It's only open on Fridays. Jim works all week to prepare. You know, they ask me what the model is, and I say, well, it's a broken one. <laughs> yeah. She got this accidental marketing. Yeah. It wasn't planned. It wasn't, I didn't go and consult some people to say, if we do this, will this work? So they'd probably say, no, it won't. But it does work. That sense of urgency by only opening one day a week gives the Friday shop a real buzz. C for cafes. Artisan chocolatier Ocho takes cacao beans from sauce, which, by the way, are not great to eat, through the processing to packaging. The business is really growing organically. I'm, I don't want it to get huge and get out of hand. So we have grown a lot, but you could say we've gone from tiny to small. So we're, we're still a really small business. We, we will stay small in that it's still going to be a craft business, so it's like a craft beer business, you know. The idea is to focus on the, the beans and the flavours and the chocolate and not, we're not trying to be huge. All my chocolate is dark chocolate, we don't do milk chocolate. So you don't need to eat so much, like good dark chocolate, in my opinion, as a food group, you know, it's like... <laughs> It's like wine, it's, you know, it's, it's good to have something really nice. It is so good for you. I mean, I eat lots of chocolate. People say to me, oh, I, I can't eat chocolate, I'm on a diet. It's like, try the dark chocolate diet. I have this theory, if you replaced every sweet thing you would normally eat with dark chocolate, you will lose weight. Yeah, are you on the dark chocolate diet? Oh, I'm totally with Liz on this one. A small amount of a quality product rather than big amounts of not quality. Yeah, I'm there. I'm on the dark chocolate diet. <laughs> I'm on the chocolate diet full stop, really. Any kind of chocolate, I'll just hoover it in. Yeah. Uh, but the dark is good because you can't eat so much of it after all. That's yeah. the good thing about it. Yeah, that's right. Don't need it. You don't need as much. Well, you do, but you, 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 you might. You, you, can, you can pull back a little bit. So where are you off to next week? Oh, we're doing uh, still in Otago, so Tairi Gorge Railway that we did, which was amazing. It's a world, world-class railway going through an amazing gorge, ending up at Middlemarch and doing a quick cycle at Middlemarch. Oh, awesome. You get to go to some fantastic places. I'm really discovering New Zealand. You know, I, I really think everyone, every New Zealander should discover New Zealand because every time I go somewhere, there's the passionate Kiwis who are in their local places, who love their local place. And I find so much magic everywhere. I really, I'm, I'm loving sharing it with you. It's beautiful, and Dunedin's definitely now on my list. Thank you so much, Debbie. And it looks like a wonderful place to visit, doesn't it? Now, you can find out all you need to know about Dunedin's wildlife, urban escapes, family fun and heritage at dunedinnz.com forward slash visit.